Now wait, 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 listen YouTube, I know what you're thinking, okay? I know you guys are thinking the title is outrageous. Listen, my auntie's here is gonna tell you guys it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Yeah, just gotta get the views, right? You it's alright. You gotta get the views. It's alright. Okay, so I'm gonna start the tutorial. Okay. My little cousin about to get a little fade on the side. He's growing up the top. Alright, so I'm gonna show y'all what to do it and how to do it on this type of hair texture. We're gonna get it through. We'll get it going. Let's go. Let's go! Kevin Durant hair texture, okay? Now, I know you guys probably looking at the title like, yo, Kev is wilding right now, but listen, 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 listen. It's, it's, his hair texture is pretty close, you know what I'm saying? When I say Kevin Durant hair texture, I just mean how tight the curls are, you know what I'm saying? This is probably the tightest curl pattern you can have, you know what I'm saying? No shot to my little cousin, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just gonna try to show y'all how to get a good fade on this type of hair texture. So, for the people out there that are not really comfortable with cutting this type of curls, you do need a brush, okay? A comb to comb the hair out, but when you're blending, you're gonna need the brush. Every time you go up in the fade, you're gonna have to brush it down. And uh, if your brush isn't hard enough, you're gonna have to brush down a little bit aggressively. So, listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I know if it's a kid, they might not be, you know, comfortable. But I mean, if you wanna get a good fade, you gotta do what you gotta do or you can just use a slightly harder brush so you don't have to brush down so aggressive so the first thing i did was do my ball guideline i dropped it down to fit the shape of his head now we're doing the lever open right now and you guys definitely make sure you stretch your guidelines out on this hair texture just because the curls are so tight okay you don't want the blend to look compressed or look like a bowl cut because you didn't stretch out the blend so make sure you stretch these guidelines out and start low enough to where when you stretch the guidelines out it doesn't look too high so now i'm doing my lever open also stretching this guideline out and i'm also brushing down as i go okay you definitely want to stay consistent when you're brushing down just because you need that hair to lay down before you can fade back up into it and yeah man it's my little cousin man like i said my, my boy miley uh, I don't cut him often. I think I'm going to start cutting him often again. I don't know, man. I don't really force my family members to bring me their kids. But when they do, you know, I get it right. I fix whatever he got going on. Um, I used to cut him all the time when he was younger. Um, Miley used to have, like, a whole bunch of hair that grew on his forehead. But um, my aunt, she kind of likes... She, probably, she like, wants his head to be a regular size. You know what I'm saying? So I did take this lineup, you know what I'm saying, a little back. Just because she wants his head to look regular. She don't want a super tiny lineup. She don't want, like, she wants the lineup to look like it fits his head. You know what I'm saying? So I did what I could to make it look like it fit his head. Um, so I know it's going to be some people in the comments like, bro, you took too much off. You didn't have to do that. Listen, bro, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to please y'all. I'm here to please my clients. And, uh, yeah. That's one thing y'all beginner barbers need to learn now. Don't make, don't do your cuts to please people on social media. Get your clients right and give them what they want. After I did my one guard open, I did the one guard open just to clean up that two guard open area as well as the two closed. Then I did the one open and now I'm at my 0 0.75 guard, okay? That is the babyless zero guard that comes with the gold FX. I'm using that guard right now. Um, I'm, de I'm just babying my steps on this hair texture just because it isn't super easy to blend, okay? So you gotta take your time, you gotta do extra steps sometimes just to get the product you're looking for. As you can see, I'm just fading, brushing down, just making sure that hair is laid down before I fade again. Now I'm using the zero guard. This is the true zero guard. Um, you get this zero guard with the snap fx so this is the real zero guard from babyless it's probably one of the best ones that i've used um i want to say the best following ones that i use because the gamma zero guard is the best one that i've used that's the closest one to the old and guard that you guys love so much to me you know what i'm saying i feel like that's how it cuts but 
using this guard, just cleaning up whatever that .75 guard left before we come with the lever closed to take out that bottom guy line. So as you can see, I'm taking out that bottom guy line with the lever closed. And as I go up, I'm adjusting my lever so I don't raise this fade, okay? Especially on this texture, it'll be hard if you raise the fade and try to blend that out again. It's going to be a whole nother process, okay? Make sure you guys take your time, pay attention, and um, you know what I'm saying? Just pay attention to detail, do your detail work as you go, and uh, your fade should come out pretty good if you copy these steps. Now it's time for detail work. You guys see I changed my clippers to the Gamma Mythics. Uh, I use these clippers strictly for detailing now. Um, I use it for foot cuts here and there, but it just gave me another perspective when fading to get my fade um, to the next level. So you guys definitely want to make sure you, you know, look somewhere else, close your eyes, you know what I'm saying, turn around, talk to somebody else or something, come back to the cut just so I can refresh your eyes. Because when you look at a, a fade for too long, it does kind of, you know, trick you and show you stuff that's not there or show you stuff that is that you think is there. You know what I'm saying? So you guys just make sure you guys just turn away, take a little break, come back, detail work before you get into the lineup. Now it's time for the lineup so what i'm going to do is try my hardest to blend his lineup into the little boat that he has on top using the one guard and i'm not really like putting my clipper all the way down on his lineup i'm kind of freehanding it over it i'm like gliding it trying to blend in the hair on top to the front hairline so right now i'm using rubbing alcohol i did not use hairspray on my little cousin i just use straight rubbing alcohol and let the fan you know blow dry it so as you guys see i'm using these custom FX trimmers and I told y'all my aunt wants him to have a regular head shape lineup so this is what I'm doing I'm not keeping it um super natural because his forehead will look he will look tiny it will look tiny and she don't like that look so I'm just doing what she want and I'm uh, getting them crispy you know what I'm saying this this is going to fit his head shape it's going to look way better and um uh, you just gotta do what your client wants Make sure you guys make sure you do brush down as you line up on this texture because um, depending on how long the client hair is, it's going to curl back. You know what I'm saying? You're going to line it up, it's going to curl back. So you see me, I'm just brushing down every time I line it up just to make sure it's crispy. And I'm double checking because my little cousin don't want to keep his head still. <laughs> so I got to double triple check to make sure it's straight before I show you guys. Look at that, crispy, crispy. We in the game, we not done yet though. We gotta do the uh, C cut. So the picture that she showed me didn't really have any C cup, C cup. She just had, the picture just had like a half C cup, like the part right before it curved. So I just hit that part real quick on each side. It's all natural cut, um, no hairspray, just rubbing alcohol to dry out the skin. You still got a crispy line on my little cousin. So I know he's growing his hair out. His hair is super low right now, but um, I still want to get the hair started, at least with some type of little style. So I'm going to use an S-curl curling spray and just sponge it a little bit, um, you know, just to kind of give it a little style, I guess. And this time my little cousin came in, definitely had to get him right. He ain't had a cut in a minute. And uh, who knows, last time I cut his hair, I forgot. So, we had definitely had to get him right. And this is the cut, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please get that comment section busting. I really appreciate y'all, man. Uh, I don't know when this video is coming out. I don't know if it's before or after CT Arbor Expo. But uh, if you were there, I know you loved it. If it ain't happened yet by the time this video came out, you need to be there. <laughs> But yeah, this is one of the perks of being a content creator and having your stuff ready, alright? But it's the cut, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Deuces. Alright, sir. Do you like your haircut? Good. Yeah? Can you see me? No? 
I mean, yeah, you like super fire. This is a, this is a wide angle lens, so it's like super fire. See you you oh, ready? No, I see. It. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. You like your haircut? Yeah. Nice and crispy. You gonna grow your hair back out? <laughs> Say yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice crispy fade. I see it. This is this is it. How old are you? Eight. Seven. Six. Seven. Seven. Okay. There you go. All right. Seven year old kid. Crazy mid fade. Crispy lineup. Texture means nothing. All right. It's boy with KKF. You guys want to see more? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You want to say anything, Molly? You want to say bye? Anything? Bye. We out.